everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor, God of Thunder from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. This Captain America head sculpt for Age of Ultron looks really nice, however it is a bit too small for the body. For its time it was a good head sculpt, though it looks nice at least with the silver A, as well as the wings on the side, kind of, and the texture is really nice too. Get some nice swivel and up and down as well. Nice for this head, but pretty small. I love these colors and wish they'd bring them back in brighter form for different figures for Captain America, but sadly it's all muted now. But I do like how this looks, the white, red, and blue shines brightly as do the really nice looking straps on here for his belt and for these over here. The star is really nice. The articulation is fine for this figure. Doesn't really have any bells or whistles we're used to, but for its time, once again, it was a nice figure with some good articulation for everything, or at least the body as well as the arms and hands. And the legs are pretty standard with a little bit of pop of color on the side. They look nice too. Pins on everything, by the way, as was the thing back then. We do have some nice looking boots over here. The nicer reddish brown color with some pretty okay articulation, at least for the legs. As far as what could be happening now versus then, it's again fair. Not really that groundbreaking or anything. Looking very nice, at least. Peg holes the bottom of the feet too. In this nice Captain America figure. With interchangeable accessories being two fists. He also comes with a saluting hand or a outward spread hand as well as a pointing finger looking really nice you get a swivel and then a hinge out of both of them different types of hinges and swivels for these as well I recommend placing the shield on top of the saluting hand it does fit much better onto the body as well yes it kind of comes out a bit you can mitigate that by having it move in a little bit but it looks nice on him it's a really great shield looks super cool and works very well with the straps on the back also he also comes with an alternate head sculpt that looks really nice the flesh tone looks great great and awesome. The hair is really nice too. I love how that looks. The ears great. The expression is very stern and very Captain America. Sadly I've been using it on a different head sculpt so it doesn't really have the good articulation but it does work at least. It's kind of wonky but it's fine. One of my first Marvel Legends figures was Iron Man from Iron Man 3 and I really love this body and head sculpt. It's super nicely done. The gold is really great and the blue really shines through. It's a super nice looking piece with a lot of great rivets everywhere going back and forward very nicely and swift over here. A little bit of pivot. It's a wonderful Iron Man head sculpt. The body looks wonderful as well. There aren't that many trimmings and trappings we've seen before as far as articulation, but the sculpt is top notch. I really love the arc reactor over here. The blue on the inside really nicely done. That looking really awesome. And the whole body's in this candy coated kind of red with a very light gold looking really good. Sure it's kind of archaic with articulation once again, but it's super cool and really awesome. It has some great pivoting as well as hinges and everything. It lacks the hands and stuff we get from other figures but for now I really love it there is a repulsor blast hand over here and a fist over here for punching Ultron Iron Man's legs look really nice I love the candy red it's really great we also have some gunmetal coming in over here on the back of the legs really nice we also have the really nicely done gold it's really cool over here I just love how these legs look and even these are riveted that's really neat we do get some nice articulation as far as this going out and up and back not really that far all the way back a little bit loosey goosey on that swivel and then no swivel down here and then a down and up with a pivot working out really nice with two peg holes as well as a pulsar blast at the bottom of the feet. Really nicely done figure. One of my favorite Iron Men. He's just awesome. But when Captain and Iron Man fail against Ultron, Hope brings a hammer right after this. Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. One of my favorite Thor head sculpts in the collection, I'm not kidding, I love this thing. It is so awesome, I feel like it captured Crips Hemsworth really well, very nicely done for this. The hair is great, the sculpt is wonderful, and I love the face, it's just so nicely done. Get a nice swivel over here, and back and forth, not really that much, but I gotta say, it's just wonderful for me. The body sculpt is great too, that light gold from Iron Man kind of shows up here, as well as the red. I feel like it gives him more cohesion at least. There's some red inside these pads over here, and the pads themselves look really nice. Nice, wonderful. Yeah, there's pins, but whatever on that. The articulation is nice. Is a little bit hard to move sometimes, having to move things around, but it works out fine for Thor. The articulation is nice over there as well. You get an up and down hinge for this as well as this over here in case you want to switch hands with him holding Mjolnir. I do like how this looks. It does break up a little bit with the swivel and back and forth all the way around, but I think it looks really nice, and this is a little bit floaty as well. It looks wonderful. The cape is really nice too 
2 has some really nice texturing on the inside and on the outside. It's kind of flat and plain, but I love how it's sculpted and it's just such a wonderful body. Thor's legs are really cool as well. They have these cool greaves that come up and are really awesome. They look nice. We have some silver on the sides over here. Kind of harkens back to what his arms used to have on them. A very nice detail. They do go out and in and out up not really that great actually it's pretty okay and back it's all right and then up this far and then down you get a swivel over there you also pull down here sadly and then down up and then you get a pivot with two peg holes in the bottom of the feet there's treads on the bottom of the feet too i really love how the legs look this is one of my favorite thors and just is so awesome he's great head especially we've seen this mjolnir mold from the previous dark world figure i showed off and this is no different i love this piece it looks awesome really great the handle is great i love how that looks it's silver as well as a little bit of brown too the brown strap is very nice as well as a super nicely done hammer no cracks no nothing it looks awesome no marbling really great piece and just as great fits in his hand nicely as well works out super cool it's a good piece even if you want to have him swinging around and here are the big three standing side by side looking really awesome together. Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor looking really great. With Captain America standing at about six inches tall, Iron Man at about six and a quarter inches tall, and Thor coming in at a whopping almost seven inches tall, six and three quarters inches tall. They look really nice together and are a great team. Overall, an Age of Heroes. Even if Age of Ultron isn't the best Avengers film, it's still the film that got me some great Marvel Legends. Case in point, these three that I still cherish to this day. Age of Ultron Captain America is a really great figure. I love how he looks. However, I feel like there are Captain Americas better than him, even though this one was my first. The Age of Ultron Iron Man is an awesome figure. I love how he looks. The sculpt, paint, and everything is basically perfect about him. If he had accessories, he'd be even better, but he's great now. And even if this is pre-face printing technology, I still think this Chris Hemsworth Thor is awesome looking. The rippling muscles are great, the outfit looks really cool, and the face sculpt is really nice and captures the actor's likeness very well. If you're a fan of Avengers, Age of Ultron, or Marvel, I would highly recommend these figures. They're all great. Especially Iron Man and Captain America, they're found in single packs. But make no mistake, why get Thor when you can get a pack of four? So which one of the big three is your favorite? Captain America, Iron Man, or Thor, God of Thunder? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.